So the trailer for Logan has finally hit the internet. It's pretty awesome. I know a lot of people are talking about it, but I just wanted to go ahead and give my take on it. So here's my version of the Logan trailer explained. Logan, what did you do? The inference here is that Logan has done something very terrible. Back in 2008, there is an eight-issue storyline from the Wolverine ongoing series of comics that was published called Old Man Logan. One of the key events in Old Man Logan is that a group of military personnel invaded and attacked the X-Men mansion. Wolverine, in an attempt to protect all the children, killed all the military personnel. However, come to find out, he was under an illusion by Mysterio, and Wolverine actually killed every single X-Men and child in that mansion. Heavy. Because of that, Wolverine exiles himself, lives in California all by himself, and vows to never use his claws again. Now for the big question, who's this girl that Logan appears to be protecting? What is she? Beneath the stain. She's like you. Of time. Very much like you. The feeling. Based on IMDB, the character is Laura Kinney. In the comic books, Laura Kinney is also known as X-23, who is a female clone of Wolverine. It's very possible that she is the last mutant and Professor Xavier wants Logan to protect her. Mutants. They're gone now. She needs our help. You are... Someone will come along. Someone has come along. As far as how the actual movie plays out, I can only guess that it might be similar to The Road. It's basically a post-apocalyptic survival road trip story about redemption and protecting somebody. The last thing I want to cover is the song choice for the trailer. The song is titled Hurt and is actually written by Nine Inch Nails, but the version that is played in the trailer is a cover performed by Johnny Cash. What's really neat is that the Hurt music video is the last recording of Johnny Cash before he died. To me, the song is a very powerful choice because it echoes a man at the end of his life looking back with full of regret, tragedy, and sadness. And considering that this is Hugh Jackman's last time as Wolverine, and the tone of the film, I think that is a perfect fit in preparing audiences for the type of film that they're gonna see. And that is my take on the first Wolverine trailer. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next Friday. Logan, you still have time.